everybody. So, um, I recently got a request to draw P Kick the PJ from Color Bandits, and I love this video, so I figured might as well draw a picture and film it. Sitting before you is not a man, but merely a cracked shell. A shell of the lightest pastels to the darkest hues, housing burning reds, spirited greens, and muted blues, with no motive, reason, or rationale behind his ways except to desaturate worlds and leave completely unfazed. Do not be amazed, for color bandits have no morals these days. They'll extract until color no longer crosses against their path, laughing sweetly as they make luminosity feel their calm, evasive wrath, head to toe in matte, which is almost completely unmatched, apart from a spectrum, so brilliantly viciously dispatched. A bandit's worst nightmare in a voyage would be to die, as all the colours come rushing and bleed deep, proceeding to stain their lives with the strokes of beryl, turquoise tints and compliments of shades of plum, a mixture of something new, unknown to man what exactly they'll become. Some believe they leave behind their soul, black and white like a mortal wound, a gaping hole, others say they become something royal. A supreme jade, a strengthened cobalt, I can't fathom a bandit becoming something so noble. Blooming bursts of brightened tones make the bandits blush, crushed colour stricken ill, and an ill defence it is, against mountains and moss, a golden gloss at a complete loss, gasping for air as he struggles, ensnared by colour. He clenches and tightens, but to no avail, suffocating to an unimaginable scale, his demise is a veil of crimson, an impenetrable prison, of iridescence swallowing the mere presence of a bandit of value. The chestnut makes him considerably more heavy, weighing him down as the cerulean splashes engulf him, causing him to drown. The scarlet burns endlessly, whilst tightly he's held by mint green, squeezing tighter and tighter. It's a perilous sight your eyes would never let you believe, and if they did, your body would stiffen up straight and never let you leave! Standing before you is not a man, but an occupied shell. Defeated, his mind in a daze, his body in a coma, he rests for just a moment, drifting slowly in the chroma, and falls to his already weakened knees and contemplates the sweet relief of becoming something more. 